Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining parallel hybrids. Now if you haven't already watched my video on hybrids, you should check that one out first, so I'll include the link in the description. Now a parallel hybrid simply means that both power sources that you're using to power the car directly can power the wheels. So in this example we've got an internal combustion engine and an electric motor which are going to be powering our wheels. So here's our basic layout as a top view looking down on the car. And basically, so you've got your four tires, and here's the front of the car. So you've got a fuel tank, and that fuel tank sends fuel to your engine. Your engine then transfers this power through the transmission to a gear reduction, uh, and these gears pass that power to the wheels, to the driving wheels. So in this case, it's a front-wheel drive vehicle. Now, also what we've got going on is a battery and a controller, and the battery sends its energy to a controller, which sends the power to a motor. The controller regulates uh, the amount of voltage that that motor gets, the motor sends that power to the gear reduction, and then sends the power to the two driving wheels. So you can see that it's a little bit different from the series engine, uh, as both of these can power the wheels at the same time. So, why would you want to parallel uh, over a series type hybrid? Well, there's less energy transfer between the engine and the wheels. So unlike in the series where the engine had to go through this complicated uh, system of transferring the energy, it just goes straight from the engine to the transmission straight to a gear that's driving the wheels. So you don't have any major losses there um, that you could have in another type of series uh, hybrid. So you can also meet instantaneous power needs with the internal combustion engine. So if you need more power for a short amount of time, you just rev up the engine and you've got it. Uh, versus revving up just a motor. And finally, uh, this by using the engine to also power the wheels, you can use a smaller uh, electrical system, and there's some potential weight savings there since the battery and uh, motors and controllers can get fairly heavy when you add it all up. Some reasons uh, against the parallel hybrid. Well, the engine is not always at its most efficient speed like it could be in a series, so because it has to rev up and meet the, the needs of uh, the speeds you're going, it can, it can rev to inefficient speeds. Uh, it does require a transmission, whereas in the other one you simply just had a generator linked up uh, in the series hybrid. Um, and then it's a kind of a complex mechanical coupling because you've got these two uh, power sources linking together at one point. So you have to think about that. I mean, you can't have one traveling faster than the other, obviously, or the other is going to be trying to slow it down. So uh, one thing you could potentially do is put a clutch in there so you could disengage the engine from that, um, and then, you know, if, for example, if you're regenerating uh, energy from braking, then you may disconnect the engine and just allow the motor to spin up so it can send that power to the battery. But basically, you're going to have a complex uh, linkage there, and so that's another negative for the parallel hybrid. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.